welcome to this short video showing you the main features of Topcon's Magnet Office software. As you can see from the graphic on the screen, the Magnet suite consists of three components. Magnet Field, which is the software that is run on all our data collectors and total stations. Magnet Office, which allows the processing of the Magnet Field data and the sending of design data back to the field and Magnet Enterprise, which is our cloud-based solution that allows communication between field and office. So today we're going to actually look at uh, the main features of Magnet Office software. They include field to finish, sending a field survey through to a finished plot, using Magnet Office to import and export field and design information, calculate volumes, produce cross-sections, produce simple CAD designs, and finally export information for visual representation on Google Earth. So the Magnet Office software, if we uh, are to bring in a field file into the software, we can do that using import and selecting an MJF, a Magnet job file, uh, in, as the format. And then we open our uh, field project. The project opens on the screen and as you'll see the string information is shown, it's joined up lines. There's also some information here that was collected um, as an attribute data that was set up in the code library. And the various lines and strings denote different feature codes. We can display those uh, using the red button on the point information and I can stack the number, elevation and code elements on each point for ease of identification. For example, 0.158 is a fence and the elevation is 50.636 meters. If I double click on the point, I can see that information and also see how the field code fits in with the layer settings within Magnet Office software. The other thing I can do is actually bring in photographs that were taken in the field. For example, on 0.157, I know I took a picture with the Tesla and I can see that picture and if necessary bring that in to the uh, Magnet Office job and present that as part of the final plan. So essentially what we would need to do now then is join some of the dots, put some text in, create a 3D mesh and some contours possibly and that could all be done as part of the processing. If I jump forward to uh, this job in its sort of final process stage uh, as you can see on the screen now, we have contours with labels, we have a table with, con with control coordinates, some text, some spot heights, and the line styles have been put in reflecting the different feature codes. If I want to take this onto a piece of paper, I simply use the command file and create plot window. I can choose a piece of paper or a paper size from the library, in this case A3 open that up and actually then move the, the A3 sheet on the screen to fit the project in hand. It's still an A3 sheet even though I'm adjusting the size here. The size then reflects directly on the scale which is shown at the bottom of the screen. So I can change that to a, a normal scale, 1 to 350 say. If necessary I could include additional uh, plots. For example if I had I wanted a larger scale, let's say 1 to 150. I could then put in uh, a number of sheets, stack them in whichever arrangement I want, and I've still got uh, the flexibility to move these sheets around dynamically on the screen and rotate. And I, I will create all those plot windows. But for this example, I'll just show a single plot window. So I'll take the scale back to 350 and reduce to one sheet of paper. Okay, once I have that set up on the screen and it's uh, enclosing all the information I want, I click OK. And that then takes me into paper space and shows me the final plot. On the final plot, I can put a grid if I wish and various other options. For example, if I wanted a uh, scale, 
and the bar scale, I could also put that in as I do now, etc. etc. Together with a uh, company logo and uh, a legend if it was required in the final plot. So that's how we would go from field to finish using Mag Office. And now let's just look at another example of some of the other functionality in, Ma in Mag Office software. We'll go to a, a job which involves a volume calculation. So in this plot, as you can see, the blue figures relate to uh, original ground level survey and the green uh, figure underneath relates to a, a design surface. We can volume, compute the volume between the two surfaces using the command surface compute volume. Our design surface is the footprint, uh, which is effectively the outline of the footing or foundation. And the natural surface, or OGL, is our DTN03. I'm going to change the uh, color of the cut and fill options here and then calculate using the prismoidal uh, calculation method, which is a stand, industry standard method of calculation. We look at the report, and the report suggests now there is 13, nearly 14,000 cube of fill and four, sorry, 14,000 cube of cut and 400 cube of fill. But to visualize that information, we can look at the, uh, the, the survey in 3D. So I'm right-clicking and uh, going for the 3D option, which allows me to show the footprint and the DTM. I'm going to transfer line work and transfer points. And then we get a graphic on the screen, which allows us to fly by effectively in 3D, 3D perspective view, the two surfaces. And we can prove uh, to anyone who doubts the calculation that it is most certainly 14,000 cube of cut uh, required to get down to the design surface. So that's the sort of functionality we can offer in the volume calculation. Finally, I want to look at um, bringing in AutoCAD information. So for that, we'll uh, look at a, a blank job, create a blank job. And we'll bring in an AutoCAD DXF using the command import. And we'll go to the folder and select uh, from the import formats DXF or DWG, which I'll then pull from the job menu, project menu. The option now is to convert from um, millimeters if the DXF was created in millimeters or no conversion if we realize that the DXF is already in meters. We can then import the DXF, and as you'll see, it's a pile grid. And the difference uh, that Magnet Office allows is that uh, all the nodes are actually created within Magnet Office have point numbers. So, for example, I can double click on a point number, and I'll be given the Eastings and Northings at that point. So uh, this information we can then use to create designs, offset strings, etc. in Magnet Office. And when we're happy with this, we can then export this out to the field controller. So we're not exporting it out as a CAD model, but as a Magnet field file. And the benefit of doing that means that one of the benefits is that all the point numbers here will be the same on the Magnet field controller as on the Magnet Office uh, software. So there's some transparency there between office and field. And we can also just send out what we need. If we don't want to send everything out, all the layers, then we can just reduce the number of layers to the information that we actually need to set out. So to set out, send this to a magnet field job, we would select the project and then file and export to a magnet job file as denoted here in the data format. If I call that um, pile grid one, let's say, and save that, I'll be presented with this dialog that asks me what I want to send out to the logger. So I'm going to send points and lines. I don't want to send it out uh, as a site link site ID, but I do want to send out the lines as shown 
on the graphic here. So once I've, I've done that, I can cl click OK, and that will be then uh, sent out to Magnet Field. If we open Magnet Field, we will then be able to open that MJF as a pile grid. Going through the dialog and looking at our map view, you will then see uh, that we can exp we can see all the points that we exported from Magnet Office, and they will have the same number notation uh, as in Magnet Office, and we can then go and set these uh, features out. So that shows us how we can then go not only from field to office, but also office to field to set out uh, design information. So finally, uh, we'll show you another feature in Magnet Office, which is an, a nice presentational tool, and that is we can actually export uh, any model that has been created in the Ordnance Survey grid, or the UK grid, uh, to Google Earth. Using this feature, uh, View and Google Earth, we take our selection, export to Google Earth, and the software will then um, export a Google Earth file. You can see Google Earth opening now in front of you. We'll just wait one second while that uh, comes into view. And again, using the coordinates of the national uh, grid system, we will actually place the project. Um, in this case somewhere in central London uh, and will overlay the project on Google Earth and you've got still visibility of points you can see the points that are created in Google Earth and we can um, actually identify those as well as uh, unique points and finally um, we can actually grab the uh, Street View person and uh, drag him down into Street View and then see the line work that we've seen um, and created in Magnet Office overlaid on Street View. Okay, so uh, this then concludes this uh, short tutorial on Magnet Office software. <laughs>